You know what happens when you push a small snowball down a hill? It keeps getting bigger and bigger by picking up more and more snow. By the time it reaches the bottom of the hill, it's turned into a huge snowball. This growth is compounded as it rolls down the hill. Now picture this. Instead of snow, the ball is made up of dividend payments from various stocks in your portfolio. As it rolls down the hill, it gathers more dividends along the way, compounding its growth exponentially. Amusing, right? But how does it work? Which strategy is the best? What do you invest in? And can it make $5,000 of earnings a month? Before the end of this video, we will show you the portfolio companies that are ideal for these strategies and a way for John to earn $5,000 a month from the ideal portfolio. Everyone's investment journey is unique. Some people aim to make $1,000 a month, while others may aspire to earn $5,000 per month. When planning how to invest or diversify your portfolio, it's important to consider your individual financial situation and what makes the most sense for you. In today's video, John will explore two strategies to determine if they can help him make $5,000 a month after retirement. But first, how does the dividend snowball effect work? The dividend snowball effect is a simple concept. When a company pays out its dividend, it uses some of that money to buy more of its own stock. This increases the number of shares you own, which in turn leads to a bigger dividend payment next time. As the process continues, your shares and the amount of dividend you receive grow exponentially, like a snowball rolling down a hill. To understand this strategy better, think about this quote from Warren Buffett. Someone is enjoying the benefits today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. This means that good things take time and patience. So you can apply this same idea to investing. Set up your investment with dividend paying companies, forget about it for a while, and let your dividends grow and compound your investment portfolio over time. Just like a snowball grows as it rolls, your investments will grow too. Two Strategies of 25 Years of Investment To understand the power of dividend investing, let's consider a 25-year model with two strategies. Strategy 1. John makes a one-time investment of $1,000. Strategy 2. John invests $200 every month. For this model, we'll focus on a company called Abvi, which is one of John's favorite investments. Abvi has been increasing its dividend for nine consecutive years and is a significant part of John's long-term dividend stock portfolio. To create this model, we looked at the past performance of AbbVie's stock and projected it forward for 25 years. We took the compounding average dividend growth rate, in short, CAGR, over the last five years, which is 14.53%. We use CAGR because it takes into account the compounding effect of reinvesting dividends back into the investment. One-time investment over 25 years. Imagine you invest $1,000 in AbbVie stock and wait for 25 years. After 25 years, your initial $1,000 investment would have grown to $29,715 if you reinvested the dividends. Compare that to if you didn't reinvest the dividends and your investment would only be worth $4,632. That's a huge difference of $25,083. The reason for this is that when you receive a dividend payment, you can use that money to buy more shares of the stock. By buying more shares, you'll receive a higher dividend payout next time. This allows you to buy even more shares, which further increases your future payouts. The process keeps repeating and growing over time like a snowball rolling down a hill, and it helps your investment grow faster. If you continue reinvesting your dividends, your annual dividend payments will increase to $3,769, which is about $315 per month. It may not seem like much, but remember, it all started with just a $1,000 investment. Now let's say John invests $10,000 as a one-time investment. After 25 years, his investment will be valued at $297,153.96. Paying an annual dividend of $37,698. This is about $3,140 per month. So you can see that the more you invest, the higher your dividends will be. And that amount of monthly income is more than enough for most people after retirement. 
Even if you decide to stop reinvesting at some point, your dividend payments will still continue to grow because the company usually increases the dividend amount over time. So, the earlier you start investing and reinvesting, the better your results will be. Overall, by starting with a small amount like $1,000 or one moderate $10,000 investment and reinvesting the dividends, you can achieve impressive growth in your investment over time. It's a great way to build wealth for the future. But what would the results be if you had a more comprehensive investing strategy? Let's say investing $200 every month over 25 years. Let's understand that. Investing $200 every month over the 25 years. You can follow a strategy that doesn't require you to go into debt, and it's easy to implement. All you need to do is invest an initial amount of $1,000 and add $200 to your investment every month. Following this strategy over 25 years means that you will have invested $61,000. By the end of the 25-year period, if you reinvest the dividends you earn, your investment would be valued at $535,610. Compare that to not reinvesting the dividends, and your investment would only be valued at $172,308. This means that by reinvesting the dividends, you have earned an extra $363,302. Without reinvesting, you would still receive $8,645 in dividends over this time, which is equivalent to $720 per month. But the real advantage lies in reinvesting the dividends. By the end of 25 years, if you reinvested the dividends, you would receive $67,785 in annual dividend income, about $5,650 per month. The power of compounding and reinvestment becomes even more evident if you continue the strategy for 5 or 10 more years. In 30 years, you would have $135,907 in annual dividends and a total value of $1,072,567. In 35 years, you would have $270,148 in annual dividends and a total value of $2,130,690. That's over $22,500 in dividends per month. The difference between reinvesting dividends and not doing so becomes even more significant. There's now a $1.9 million difference in total value and a $260,000 difference in annual dividend income. This is all because of the compounding effect, which strengthens over time. So the sooner you start investing and reinvesting, the more powerful the snowball effect of dividend investing will be. Now that you know how these strategies work, the question is, where to invest your money? Well, good news for you! We have compiled a list of funds and stocks from different sectors that meet the requirements of an ideal portfolio, safety, and good returns. In the end, we will show how John can make $5,000 a month from a portfolio of these stocks and funds. For the ideal portfolio, first, start with dividend aristocrats. These are reliable companies that have been increasing their dividends for at least 25 years. They're large and established businesses, and you can find them on a list called dividend aristocrats, which includes some of the highest dividend paying stocks. Look at the percentage of profits the company pays out as dividends. If it's too high, it might not be sustainable. The ideal payout ratio is between 50% and 60% of their earnings. Also, be cautious of very high dividend yields, as they might indicate financial troubles for the company. Some of the most reliable companies are Coca-Cola, with a compound annual dividend growth rate, in short CAGR, of 5.34%. Procter & Gamble, with a CAGR of 5.73%. Johnson & Johnson, with a CAGR of 6.28%. McDonald's, with a CAGR of 8.39%. Next, consider high-dividend ETFs. Instead of buying individual stocks, you can invest in exchange-traded funds that focus on dividend-paying stocks. Some of the best ETFs to consider are Spider S&P Dividend ETF. This ETF currently yields 2.91% and has averaged a 10.23% return over the past decade. 
Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF This ETF has a 2.99% current yield and a 10.45% average return over the past decade. Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF This ETF currently yields 3.69% and has averaged a 14.61% return over the past 10 years. Last but not least, Dividend Paying REITs these are like mutual funds, but they invest in real estate instead of stocks. They usually own commercial properties like offices, retail spaces, and apartments. REITs are required to distribute at least 90% of their income as dividends. Some of the best in the market include Kimco Realty Corp., which has a current dividend yield of 3.26%, Brandywine Realty Trust, with a current dividend yield of 6.59%, Brookfield Property REIT with a current dividend yield of 7.54%. Before showing you what you could earn from the ideal portfolio, it's important to know from all these investment opportunities that they're clearly companies that can generate long-term wealth and can be found in various industries, such as beverages, home improvement, fast food, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, or real estate. What's important is that these companies have strong competitive advantages that allow them to consistently grow and compound wealth over time. Return from the ideal portfolio. Let's say we're picking three of the finest from the three sectors. McDonald's with an 8.39% return. Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF with 14.61%. Brookfield Property REIT with 7.54%. If you invest in these three as a portfolio, you'll get an average 10.18% return. Using Strategy 1, after 25 years, your initial investment of $1,000 will be worth $12,607, paying you a $1,215 dividend annually. But the real return starts when you use the second strategy. After 25 years, using the second strategy, investing $200 every month, in this case, your investment would grow to $288,575, and you would receive an annual dividend income of around $27,711. That's about $2,310 per month. And if you let it invest for another 5 or 10 years? In 30 years, your investment would be worth $494,744, paying a $47,586 annual dividend. In 35 years, it'll be worth $836,999, paying an annual dividend of $80,580. That's $6,715 worth of income per month. Which means with this strategy, John can retire comfortably and without any concerns about his monthly finances. Investing in dividend-paying stocks is a smart way to steadily grow your wealth even with small amounts. So if you're waiting to invest until you have more money, you're missing out on the opportunity to benefit from years of growth that do not require a large investment. If you're eager to see results quickly and don't want to wait for your investments to grow, you might be interested in watching our video about the top 5 AI ETFs for 2023. These ETFs focus on the next big thing, artificial intelligence, and have the potential to provide high returns similar to what we saw in the 1990s when the internet was introduced.